Joe and I are from similar towns. He's from Scranton, Pennsylvania. I'm from Janesville, Wisconsin. You know what the unemployment rate in Scranton is today? I sure do. It's 10%. Yeah. You know what it was the day you guys came in? 8.5%. Yeah. That's how it's going all around America. Look. You don't read the statistics. Look, That's not how it's going. It's going this down. This is his two-minute answer, L- look. please. <laughs> Did they come in and inherit a tough situation? Absolutely. <laughs> but we're going in the wrong direction. Look at where we are. The economy is barely limping along. It's growing at 1.3%. That's slower than it grew last year, and last year was slower than the year before. Job growth in September was slower than it was in August, and August was slower than it was in July. We're heading in the wrong direction. 23 million Americans are struggling for work today. 15% of Americans are living in poverty today. This is not what a real recovery looks like. We need real reforms for a real recovery, and that's exactly what Mitt Romney and I are proposing. It's a five-point plan. I think the vice president very well knows that sometimes the words don't come out of your mouth the right way. (laughs) But I always say what I mean. (laughs) And so does Romney. We want everybody to succeed. We want to get people out of poverty, in the middle class, onto a life of self-sufficiency. We believe in opportunity and upward mobility. That's what we're going to push for in a Romney administration. Vice President, I have a feeling you have a few things to say here. (laughs) Uh, The idea, if you heard that, that uh, little soliloquy on 47%, you think he just made a mistake, then I think you're, I, 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 I think, I got a bridge to, to sell you. Um, look, uh, I, I don't doubt his personal generosity, and I understand what it's like. Uh, um, when I was a little younger than the congressman, uh, my wife uh, was in an accident, killed my daughter and, uh, and my wife, and my two sons survived. I have sat in the homes of many people who have gone through it. I get through because the one thing you can give people solace is to know if they know you've been through it, that they can make it. So I, I don't doubt his personal uh, commitment to individuals. But you know what? I know he had no commitment to the autom- automobile industry. He just let, he said, let it go bankrupt, period. Let it drop out. All this talk, we saved a million jobs. 200,000 people are working today. And I've never met two guys who are more down on America across the board. We're told everything's going badly. 5.2 million new jobs, private sector jobs. We need more, but 5.2 million. If they'd get out of the way, if they get out of the way and let us pass the tax cut for the middle class, make it permanent. If they get out of the way and pass the, pass the jobs, well, if they get out of the way and let us allow 14 million people who are struggling to stay in their homes because their mortgages are upside down but they never missed a mortgage payment, just get out of the way. Stop talking about how you care about people. Show me something. Show me a policy. Show me a policy where you take responsibility. And by the way, they talk about this great recession if it fell out of the sky. Like, oh my goodness, where did it come from? It came from this man voting to put two wars in a credit card. To at the same time put a prescription drug benefit in the credit card. A a trillion dollar tax cut for very wealthy. I was there. I voted against them. I said, no, we can't afford that. And now all of a sudden these guys are so seized with the concern about the debt that they created. Congressman Ryan. 